You can call it a huge coup. Foxconn is planning to set up shop here in Michigan, and it may be closer to home than you think. You may not have heard of Foxconn before, but you definitely know the products they make. In fact, the Chinese company responsible for building almost all the iPhones. Uh, as they've grown, so have their aspirations, which explains the potential move to Michigan. Business editor Rob Maloney joins us now from Romulus. But Rod, this is not about phones. No, it is not about phones at all. It's about auto industry centric stuff like autonomous vehicles. Now, we're here in Romulus, but they started looking at a couple of sites in Lyon Township, but the township hasn't heard from them since last spring. But we are getting the word that they're paying a lot of attention to land just like this in Romulus, out here by the airport. Terry Gu, CEO of Foxconn, has been a very busy man lately. He spent time with President Trump and announced a 10,000-person television LED screen manufacturing facility in Wisconsin over the past couple of weeks. And now he's in talks with the state of Michigan for something based here. The South China Morning Post says it for autonomous vehicle facilities. But no one at Foxconn nor the state of Michigan is giving specifics. But the possibilities are considerable. Navigant auto and clean energy industry analyst Sam Abulasamid says that Foxconn doesn't do small. And they're looking at uh, setting up both development facilities here uh, to develop something, you know, to develop the hardware and validate it, and then presumably ultimately to manufacture at least some of that hardware, if not complete vehicles. You won't find Taiwan based Foxconn's name on anything. It just quietly and very profitably manufactures lots of high tech items. And it likes to build where there's a strong supply base, which Michigan offers, along with engineering and manufacturing expertise. So coming here could tilt the tables towards Michigan in the battle with Silicon Valley and becoming the autonomous vehicle capital of the world. It could be just you know, a few dozen or a few hundred people working in an R&D facility here. Um, if it gets to actual manufacturing, um, it could potentially be thousands or even tens of thousands of people, depending on the scale of what they end up doing. Now, Governor Snyder is on his way home from China with, uh, or just after these meetings, he'll be home probably tomorrow. But he is saying, and his office is saying, that nothing is set in stone, that there, it is likely that they're still negotiating all of this stuff and trying to figure out exactly what this is all going to look like. But rest assured, the second they know, we will too. Back to you. Well, Rob, talk about the other things that makes uh, Michigan so attractive to Foxconn or others. Well, you know, Sam was telling me this today. Think about this. In California, Silicon Valley, where all the guys do all the software, right? Well, they have great weather. Well, but if you're going to test a car, you have to be able to test for all kinds of weather. So who knew Michigan's crummy weather come February <laughs> is actually a benefit this time around? How about that? We don't say that a lot. All right, Rod.